Hello folks, welcome to BISVTrainings.com. My name is Amit and today we are going to do some interesting analysis using Report Studio. I'm going to create one report over here in which we are going to use multiple fact tables. We understand what is the problem which may occur when you use multiple fact tables and how do you address them. So let's start with understanding the problem. This is my model. On top of this, I'm going to create my report. If you look at this model carefully, in this example we are trying to bring data from uh, from my product dimension, from my cost, fact table, sales fact table, although these two are fact tables, and uh, time is my confirmed dimension. I'm going to bring data from one dimension product to fact table using one of the confirmed dimension. Right? The model how it look like, let me show you in our framework manager. So my model, this is how it look like. Uh, this is part of my business model. My original model, this is my original physical model and uh, this is how it look like. So in this physical model you see there are two fact tables, fact cost and fact sales and there is a confirmed dimension which is being shared between these two fact tables based on common primary key. Time ID is a primary key over here and foreign key over here, respective foreign key over here. The cardinality is uh, as often one to many, one to many from dimension to fact, one to many. Okay. So in this example, as I, we have taken time as a confirmed dimension, when you bring data from two fact table, it is quite uh, natural that the data should be, uh, should be bought into your system, keeping one of this confirmed dimension key. But the problem comes over here when we use, when you bring data from these two fact table, Cognos apply full outer join. So we see how to uh, solve this problem. First, let's understand the problem. So my query is pretty simple. I need to bring data from my product, cost, sales, and time dimension. So I like to see product details, product sales, product cost. I'm going to use this data model. See this? This is my physical layer. On top of this physical layer, I build my business model mapping, which as often, it's a shortcut of my all query subjects. Okay. This is my business model. Right, so let's query this. I'm going to use business model with filter. This is my package, and I pull data from product and these two fact table. In first example, I'm not going to use any confirmed dimension. Then I modify, and then I use a confirmed dimension. So I need product detail, product category, product subcategory, and product name product sales detail from my fact table, fact sales. I'll take one major from here and one major from another fact table. Right? As per model, as per this model, when I bring data from cost and fact and product, the confirmed dimension is time dimension. Therefore, uh, my query should use time dimension, time ID as a common key between these two fact table. This is my expectation. Before I render this query, I show you the SQL query. This is my SQL query. Now, if you look at this SQL query, you find over here, which is quite obvious, system is using a full outer join. It is not applying any select ABC from A comma B. I mean, I wanted these two tables to be joined, two fact tables to be joined using common time as a confirmed dimension, which is not happening over here. To make it more clear, let's use a confirmed dimension time. I'm going to time ID as a confirmed dimension, right? And then I once again query. Now this is the problem over here. My system is using full outer join. And you know full outer join, it means the system is unable to figure out how to join these fact two fact tables. So we're bringing data from first part of the query. We're bringing data from cost, time, and sales. It's first part of my query. Let's take a snapshot of it. Take a snapshot. So this is my first part of my query, where we are bringing data from from cost and time, right? First part of my query. So as per this model, as per this physical model. My query is going to be we're bringing from cost 
and time right and common key is time id i can see it is joining on on time id it's quite visible over here this is working fine one part of the query is correct now let's look at the second part of the query so when i look at the second part of the query this is what i find scroll down second part of the query in this query we are using data from okay let's take a snapshot of this only i'll take only snapshot of second part of the query okay, let's cut this piece so this is second part of the query right now if you see in this example we are bringing data from product sales and time dimension using time id is a common key you see product id between sales and product you use product id and and we use time id and the corresponding model over here we'll take a snapshot of second part of the model this is a model we're bringing data from we'll take into another subset the second part of my query where i'm bringing data from sales product and time oops i have not taken time this is my time dimension Let's scroll up a little bit and include time as well. So this is my sales product and time, right? And product and uh, sale join what product ID and time and sale join what join based on time ID. This is exactly what has happening over here. Up to this, as long as we are running independent, they are working perfect. so i got two independent query when i join them right for the second part of the query when i scroll it down i i find uh, it is taking full outer join do you see that full outer join of these two independent query and this causes my query to be returning wrong output so we see now we understand the problem we see how to address them to address this full outer join query so the way we are going to address it and the report in the query studio today we use two independent query and then join them so now we know the problem and we see how to solve it in order to solve it i'll go to i'll create a new query i'll go to my query section and write two independent query this is my first query which in turn join with another query so this is my first query which bring data from first part of my query i will name it as fact cost and time right this will this query will bring data from time i use time id which is confirmed dimension and from my cost table i need two measures from here so this is the first part of my query i go to second part of my query this is my second query this query will bring bring data for another fact table so i named it as fact sales fact sales and product and time is as often confirmed dimension so i need data from product i use product id product category product sub category product name i use time id as a confirmed dimension and confirmed dimension key and i need data from sales fact sales fact so i use quantity sold or amount sold any one major i use okay so this is second part of my query so i got two query okay and i would like to join them together using eco join so i use fact cost and fact sales and the joining criteria i define based on time id i use new join 
based on time ID, right? You can define define a joint type. One to many, one to one is up to you. This is going to be the expression. This is how it's going to be. So two queries are going to be joined using equal join. Click and find it no error. Validate. This is what I found. Now I go to my query section, which is combined query. I rename it as. It is bringing data from fact sales cost together, right? And product fact sales and cost. Let's make it fact sales and cost. And then I bring data from both the fact tables. So I need product category, subcategory, product name, major from one dimension, one fact table. Sorry, amount sold and unit cost. Right, so I bring data from two query. Now let's look at the query before we process. And let me save this first. I call this multiple fact table solution. And I'll go to my uh, page layout and I map this to my multiple fact query solution, my list view. Map to my multiple fact sales fact sales what name we have given over here uh, the name is fact sales fact sales and cost right so you map our list view fact sales and cost correct now I pull all the required majors product category subcategory name and amount sold I don't need an ID so this is my key product category subcategory name and amount sold and quantity sold right my query has gone created let's look at the query section show and generate SQL and MDX this is what I find over here so if you look at carefully this is solved in two steps this is my first query the first query is bringing data from product and sales fact right product and sales so you can run it independently as well copy this query and run this basically there are two queries are created with two alias name this is the first part of my query where we are bringing data from product and sales this is perfect now second part of the query bring data from another fact table and the common dimension over here confirmed dimension is time copy this and run it second part of the query this is your output now look at us the first part of the query we are using with clause this query has an alias fact sales product this query has an alias fact cost and time and the bottom we are joining these two alias table with an equal join on time ID and now we don't have any uh, any full outer join so moral of the story whenever you want to bring data from multiple fact table okay make sure you validate your query and ensure that whenever you bring it a multiple fact table the Cognos is using confirmed dimension in order to join two fact tables if they do not join if you find full auto join somewhere as we found in our requirement let me save this uh, the problem which we found in our previous query when we have multiple fact table with full auto join and look at my query section I find over here full auto join it is indeed mean it's not correct right my system is unable to recognize confirm dimension then you can divide and conquer create two independent query as we did we create two independent query under query section I create one query which bring data from fact fact sales and fact cost with confirmed dimension time ID create another query uh, sorry this part of the query fact product sales which bring data from another fact table with time is a confirmed dimension and join them together using a local join you see 
and joining criteria because we use time ID as a common key I join them time ID is a foreign key for both uh, this is a primary key for respective time dimension right so this is how you can address uh, full auto join in report studio subscribe to our YouTube channel and and watch more videos should you have any question please write to us our website is bisptrainings.com thank you and have a great day ahead